Facebook is looking to revamp the emoticon, but not without some Pixar magic and a little help from Charles Darwin. The social network has enlisted Pixar story artist Matt Jones and UC Berkeley psychologist Dasher Keltner to try and crack a universal language with a set of emoticons that can express the wide range of nuanced emotions we experience. According to The Verge, Jones's experiences from Pixar appear to be a perfect fit for the job because the animation studio has long had to convey the emotions of inanimate objects. And the emotional early drafts of the idea are to create emoticons with a little more spark, a little more, well, emotion. And the team is separating them into detailed emotional categories like high spirits, weakness, resignation, and maternal love. But it's more than just a redesign. In fact, it's based in science. Keltner and Jones are basing their work off of Darwin's The Expression of the Emotions in Man and Animals, which explored Darwin's theory that human and animals have similar emotional expressions. And according to Gizmodo, the two are following the evolutionary theorist's method to ensure the new family of emoticons are universal. Jones's drawings are being tested on subjects all around the world, and that's in addition to being translated back into the anatomical coatings of real facial expressions, allowing them to see if they work on a real human face. In addition to making sure this new set of emoticons are actually expressions, Jones and Keltner are experimenting with animation, size, and dimensions. But their most immediate problem to solve? What color they should be. Jones tried Facebook Blue, thinking it might have become familiar enough to users, but said the emoticons just look like they had hypothermia. He's experimenting with multiple colors, red for anger, green for envy, but you don't want to offend anyone, he explains. Colors will be a racial issue. No word yet on how far along the project is or when it will be completed. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.